This is uh, Sanofi Tech. Today we're going to you a uh, Star Product uh, Handheld Spectrum Analyzer S3331A. Uh, this is a Spectrum Analyzer which is uh, 3.6 GHz and uh, we also have a S3331B uh, which reaches uh, 7.5 GHz. So let's have a look at it. Hold the start button and uh, the instrument will turn on. So, so look at the front panel. Uh, the most obvious part is the large screen. Uh, this is a high bright screen, so even if you are in the sunshine, you can still see the traces and the data clearly. Uh, below it, there are six uh, soft keys uh, corresponding to the soft menus in this uh, show in the screen. Uh, on the left side, uh, this area is the function keys. Uh, you can do the settings and uh, select uh, measurement mode with these keys. On the right side, there are numeric keys, knob, navigation key, and uh, unit keys. Uh, that is for the front panel, and uh, let's see the interfaces. At uh, the top side of the instrument and uh, we can see there are four interfaces here. Uh, the first one is an N-type female interface. This is the RF output interface. Uh, if you select the option tracking source or CW source, uh, this is uh, acting as a signal generator. Uh, this one is a LAN port. The LAN port is used for remote control and uh, for the PC software. This one is a USB port type A. This port is used to connect to a printer. You can directly print out the traces and uh, the data. And uh, the last port uh, is the RF in input port. This is the basic uh, spectrum analyzer port to connect uh, the signals and um, input the signal. Each of this, each of this, uh, rubber cap to protect them. So on the right, so on the right, there are some interfaces uh, I'm gonna show you. Uh, beneath the rubber cap, there are two SMA interfaces. One is for external trigger and the Y is for the 10 MHz reference signal. Beneath this one, there is a USB uh, interface for the USB disk. A user can directly save the trace or the uh, trace data into a USB disk. There is also a 3.5 mm uh, headphone port. Uh, you can connect a headphone in onto it and uh, listen to the signal because um, this instrument have audio analysis function. So on the so on the is a support uh, you can use the instrument on the desktop and uh, this will provide you a better view and